Hello game developers, welcome back to another GDevel 5 tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how you can create a coin box in GDevel 5. So this is a coin box, as you can see it has um, a coin in it. Okay, so if I hit the coin box, um, I get a coin from it. So that's a coin box and I'll show you how to create that in this video. Also, this is a remake of a tutorial I created last year on how to create a coin box and I'm remaking this to show you an easier way to create the coin box. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's begin. But before we begin, don't forget to rate the video. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't, um, okay, just let me know why you don't in the comment section below. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, first of all, let's go into our new scene. So in our new scene, we have, this is the platform example, which comes with to develop, and I'm currently using this, and I'm using this portion of this scene to demonstrate the coin box to you. Okay, for this tutorial, I'll be showing you two types of coin boxes which I've seen so far. And the first coin box would be once our player is in collision with the coin box. It kind of displays a twin animation where it moves upwards and comes back down. While the second does not and once in collision, it brings out a coin and changes the animation of it. So that's why I'll be showing you. But first of all, let's start with the coin box which um, moves upwards and down once our player is in collision with it. And now the first thing you would want to do is check if our player is in collision with the coin box. There is a condition in GDevelop to check if an object is in collision with an object. Now we are not going to use that because that would check if our player is in collision with this from all angles. So once our player touches this from the top coin box upwards, which is not what we want, we only want it once our player is in collision with the coin box from below. Now to do that we can use a condition in GDevelop which checks if a point of an object is inside an, the collision uh, mask of another object. So first of all let's create a point for our coin of player hits box and here I would edit points and let's add a point. You can add that by clicking on this plus and then here, so I'll name this coin box. That would be the name of my um, point. And next, you'd want to move this to the center. Okay, and then let's move it to negative. Let's take it to a negative value because we need it to be outside our hit box. That's to check if our player is in collision with the coin box. Okay, so close this and apply. Now, in my project manager, I have these two external events, coinbox1, which I would use to demonstrate the first type, and coinbox2. So in coinbox1, um, this is already, note that this is already linked to our new scene event right here. So I've linked this. You can do that by clicking on add and click on link. But first of all, you must create an external event before you can link an external event. Okay, so back into our coin box. Now let's add an a condition. Let's select our coin box. And what you would want to do now is check if a point, sorry about that, point is inside an object. Now you need to select the X position of a point. But before you can select the X position of a point, you need to get the object, which would be our player hit box dot point. X. Now you need to set your point name in here. Remember, set that in double quotes, which is coin box. So that's the X position. Now for the Y, you need to do the same thing. Player hit box dot point. Sorry about that. Point Y. Close that and double quotes and coin box. Perfect. The next thing you'd want to do is add a tween behavior to your coin box. So for this, I already have my twin behavior, but I'll show you how to do that. So to add your twin behavior, you need to select your objects, coin box, then behaviors. 
So as you can see, this is my twin behavior, and you can do that by adding add a behavior to the object. And here we go. This is the twin behavior. So all you have to do is select this. This does not have um anything to configure, so it has nothing to configure here. So all you have to do is just um limit it to the events. So apply this and back into our events. Sorry, our coin box events. And now once our play hit box is, in, is inside our coin box we need to twin this so add an action let's select our coin box and let's twin add a um, a white position twin now we're twinning it to the negative um, upward so we need to get the current position and subtract from it so twin identifier um this is a name for your twin i'll just set this to up or maybe coin box that would do okay coin box to y now to y um i would use i'll get the coin box x position sorry the y position of the coin box and subtract um a value of 20 from it so with an easing i'll just go with the linear easing and a duration of um i guess 100 would do 100 milliseconds this is in milliseconds okay so let's try this out let's preview okay this is open here and once i'm in collision sorry about that so as you can see, it's moving upwards once the point is in collision with it. Okay, so once the point is in collision with it, it's moving upwards. That's sure that it's working perfectly. Now we need to bring it back downwards. So to do that, let's add an event and um, an event here. Add a condition at the beginning of the scene. Okay, that's great. And let's add an action. Let's get the position. Sorry, um, a variable value of a scene variable. Okay, let's set the variable name to coin box position. Okay, and sign set to to the value of coin box. The y. So what this would do is that it would get the x position of our coin box at the beginning of the scene. So that would get it. And let's add a new event. Add a condition now scene variable value of a scene variable which would be coin box position is um is greater than the value of the coin box that's the current coin box of y position okay so if it's greater than this we need it to twin this so our coin box coin box and then twin this um, a white twin which should add um, 20 to it so to an identifier this would be coin box and to the y we'll get the coin box current coin box y position again and add 20 to it this would bring it back downwards with an easy linear duration of 100 milliseconds okay that's perfect now if we preview this this would work um, perfectly as you can see it's, it's coming back downwards but now here's the problem with this. Now, if we add multiple coin boxes to this, once we're in collision with one coin box, it would move all um, coin box upwards. That's because we don't have um, a for each. Close this and let's add that. So you can do that by clicking on add. And here we go for each object. So this would perform this event um, repeatedly for each object we have. So select the object coin box. Put the scene variable this into it here and then twin this into this. Okay, so back into our new scene, let's add multiple coin boxes. Here we go, the coin box, they all act um, independently and that's nice. Okay, so that's how to create this type of coin boxes. Now, next, I'll show you how to create a coin box which changes the animation once you're in collision with it. So let's close this and let's head back to our coin box two. Now, in order to use this XNO event perfectly, we would have to disable, sorry about that, and toggle disable. Okay, so in our coin box two, let's add a condition, same condition to check. Okay, so coin box, let's check um, if a point is inside the object. The point would be player, um, the player hits box dot points dot x and this would be coin box okay once again player 
hits box dot um, points y and here we go fill in the name again which would be coin box and that's perfect so once this play hits box is in college is inside the coin box let's head back into before we add this event i want to show you something so in our new scene and once we edit our coin box as you can see and these are the two animations we have so this is kind of the empty animation so apply this and back into our coin box too so once this condition is true now we need to change the animation first coin box animation change the animation sign set to value one great and next we need to create a coin now we would create the coin by getting the the y position of the coin box and subtracting 20 from it so to do that add an action and coin box sorry about that <laughs> we're doing create an object so create an object which would be coin now you don't want to click on the coin icon because that's in a different layer so coin to the x position let's get our coin box x position now that's great and let's for y position we need to get our coin box dot y position now that's the y position and let's subtract 70 from so this will place it above our coin box okay and also just so this creates the coin once you need to add um, a condition to trigger once just so every coin box creates only one coin, we need to check if for the animation of the coin box. So add an action coin box and animation. So current animation, sorry. And where are you? Current animation sign set to value zero. So we need to make sure the animation of the coin box is set to zero. So let's preview this. Okay, here we have this. It creates a coin above our coin box and it only works once because the animation is no longer set to uh, 1 okay so and we have this we can pick our coins which is really nice that's great so there we go that's how to create a coin box in Chidevelop this should be easier than the method I showed you last year so there we go so once again don't forget to rate this video if you like the video Hit the like button. If you don't like the video, tell me why in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you guys in my next tutorial.